Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today we'll continue our basic ECG course. And uh, today lecture is about access determination and the deviation. My name is Ahmed Al Hadidi. I am emergency medicine consultant. Uh, what is the access? Access is a summation of all vectors. So if all of electrical vectors are average out, we end up with the main electrical axis for the heart. Normally, the main electrical axis of the heart is downward, forward, and towards the left side. This is the axis. So why it's important to determine the axis? Because deviation from normal uh, uh, path indicates an abnormality in conduction system and myocardium. So it's very important in cases like myocardial infarction, hypertrophy, bundle branch block, fascicular block, which is only diagnosed by axis deviation and mechanical shift. Let's review back our hex axial reference system. So the six limb leads create six pool of intersecting uh, uh, leads and the center is the heart. Each pool has positive and the negative axis. And each positive and the neg negative axis is assigned to a value. So lead one is zero. Lead two is positive 60. Lead AVF is positive 90. Lead three is positive 120. And lead AVR is positive, is, sorry, is negative 150. Lead AVL is negative 30. This is the hex axial reference system. So what is the normal axis? What is the abnormal axis? So normal axis is between zero till 90. Uh, sorry, zero till positive 90. This is the normal axis. There is physiologic uh, uh, left axis, which is from zero to minus 30, and pathological left axis from minus 30 till minus 90. And right axis from positive 90 till positive 180, and from 180 till negative 90, this is what we call extreme right axis deviation or extreme axis deviation. So how to determine the axis? There is an easy way and there is a mathematical way. So first of all, if you want to accurately uh, diagnose or determine the axis, you have first to check two leads, which are uh, between them are acute angle. So, uh, uh, sorry, between them right angle. So between lead one and lead AVF, lead one is zero angle, lead AVF is positive 90. So first we will count the positive smallest squares for each for R wave in lead one. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one and two. So it's 12 small squares and uh, uh, count the small squares for the negative R or Q, uh, sorry, S or Q wave. So it will be two. So 12 minus two, the net vector for lead one will be 10 small squares. And here in AVF, we'll repeat the same. Sorry, we'll repeat the same in AVF. We'll count how many small squares in positive, how many small squares in negative, and subtract the negative from the positive small squares. Then for uh, uh, we'll come back to the hex axis reference system and we will draw lines. If, for example, from the center of the heart, we'll count how many uh, uh, small squares or how many millimeters will take how many millimeters towards the positive uh, zero axis. So it will be 10 millimeter. We will put one point here and the same will put one point here in the AVL lead. So these two uh, uh, points will draw perpendicular line, will draw perpendicular line over these two points. So if this is the point here in lead one, this is 10 small square, we will draw a perpendicular line here. Then we'll draw a perpendicular line here and we'll check where is these two perpendicular lines will intersect and we will take one line from the center, which is the heart, till the meeting point between two perpendicular lines. And this will be the normal axis or the axis of the this ECG. For example, it's positive 50 millimeter or 50 degree. This is the mathematical way. Other way, 
Other way is we choose lead one and lead EVF, and we check if both lead one and both lead one and EVF are upright or both are positive. So this is normal axis. If lead one is positive and lead EVF is negative, this is lead one is positive, lead EVF is negative. So this is lift axis deviation. If lead one is negative and lead EVF is positive, so this is lead one and this is lead EVF. This is right axis deviation. If both one and EVF are negative, this is extreme right axis deviation. Again, so if both pointing up, this is normal axis. If pointing apart, this is left axis. If pointing together, this is right axis. And if both pointing downward, this is extreme right axis. Here, if you can see here, to apply the previous rule, if lead one and lead EVF are, uh, uh, one, one is positive, EVF is negative, this is lift axis deviation. If both are pointing up, this is normal axis. If lead one is negative and lead EVF is positive, this is right axis deviation. If both leads are pointing down, this is extreme right axis deviation. So what is the causes for lift axis deviation? Like in this patient, this is lift axis deviation. It can be normal in old or obese persons. Any mechanical shift like in pregnancy will shift the heart. So uh, uh, will cause left axis deviation. Emphysema, left ventricular hypertrophy, left bundle branch block, left anterior fascicular block, and inferior wall myocardial infarction, and some types of ventricular tachycardia can cause left axis deviation. What are the causes for right axis deviation? Uh, it can be normal in children or, or tall, thin adults can be normal to have right axis deviation. This uh, ECG also showing right axis deviation. It can uh, be seen in COPD or emphysema patient, right ventricular hypertrophy, right bundle branch block, left posterior fascicular block, and anterolateral myocardial infarction, and ventricular uh, tachycardia. Thank you, and see you next in uh, uh, next presentation for ECG.